What's up, Saber folks? I'm here with a Saber Forge ASP first time ever touching an, uh, or I guess an unboxing, unpackaging of uh, ASP parts for, um, from Saber Forge. I had two on order. I had basically the the ASP parts from the Commando. Uh, ordered those a while ago, um, and yeah, so that one, and then this could be that, or it could be my sort of Monarch emitter ASP build with the Ares body, I think. And then the commando pommel, because I like the commando pommel. I just feel like it fits with the most. Things about this, uh, this is the first time I've ever done it. So obviously when you're looking at something on the computer, you're looking at a render, it's on, there's a very good chance that's not going to be the same thing in person. Uh, obviously I understand it's going in. This is probably going to be a hit or miss. Obviously I'm hoping for the best. Obviously I don't expect uh, perfection, especially considering I've already seen a couple of friends of mine, their ASPs, uh, especially the new Wave, I think say Wave 2, I think. Um looks a little which i think is markedly improved from the previous one in my opinion uh but uh yeah that they look not drastically different but pretty different from the one that uh that the render that they made so with that said go ahead and crack into this unboxing here and we'll see what we got awesome okay so this looks like and i don't know if all the pieces are in here but we'll we'll see so this looks like my monarch asp build i also asked saber forge fun note to uh I don't think they're going to do it, and I don't think they don't really in, under any obligation to do so. But I asked them just for funsies. Uh, can you include the uh, Bane emitter, or like the shroud for the Bane emitter, uh, on my Monarch emitter? I don't think they're going to do it. But I asked them because I said I, you know, I picked a thin switch, switch section. It would be really cool if I could do it. Maybe one day I'll go get a like a stunt one, and then find a way to like remove that one and put it on this one. May not fit anyway, and there still might be a little lip in the in the switch section, but we'll see. All right, so here's the switch section, I think. Yeah, it's a lot thicker. So that's one thing to know. You know, these are the these are like champion. Or no, not champion. There's the uh, gosh darn it. I can't remember. There's different types. There's the apprentice hilt, and then there's the elite hilt. So these are like elite hilt size. So these are a lot thicker. They're still pretty good. They're still they're still better than. And here's the pommel, and then where's the omitter? The emitter is here. Yeah, cool. And then I ordered the timing shim. So this is everything I need to time it. I don't know how to do that. And maybe maybe I'll do it in this video. I don't know, but we'll, we will see. Let's go ahead. What do I want to do first? Let's do, I don't know. I think the switch section is the most boring thing. So we'll save the best for last. Ugh. Open this guy up here. Okay, this is, yeah, awesome. Okay, good job, me. So this looks great. Yeah, this looks great. So this is like a pre borderline apprentice level thickness if for the for this part, which I actually really am down for. Um, yeah, no, it's beautiful. I wanted it in black because I wanted it to contrast with the... Uh, I wanted it to look like there's a thin piece going into the emitter. And there's a chance that I might get, want to get like a Gladius switch section just to test because I think the Gladius switch section would just be... It's like, you know, that thick part for the switches. And then there's like this neck thing going on and that might want that to go into... Monarch uh, emitter, which I also thought this stuff was going to be like stupid big, like just like this, like as big as my hand. But I'm actually really glad it's not because everyone said, oh, the Saber Forge shots are so big. I'm like, first of all, Ultra Saber is much bigger, much wider uh, in the middle. There's just so much space in there. Um, they're not that big. I mean, this, this is, I feel like this is the great middle of the road um, size for most Sabers. But again, I'm not a professional. I'm not, I know I don't do this for a living. I just do this for fun. I'm some guy on the internet. So I'm not special. I'm just somebody that has an opinion. Oh, oh, yeah, dude, that's beautiful. So I got a commando. It's kind of a mistake now, but I got a commando in standard finish. So maybe actually, gosh, did I? I might have actually ordered the the other pommel for my commando build as a weathered one so that it would contrast with this one. But I'm not sure if I, if I did that or not. But this is still, this is gorgeous. You know, this is beautiful. And I like, I love one, I just like, I love the slanty bits. I think that's a fun, fun little design just in general. And um, yeah, so I just like this one. And it's also, it's like, then this also gives me a little preview for what the, what my commando will feel like in my hand. This feels like a little bit bigger because I think it's, uh, the commando itself is a, is an, a, an elite hilt. So it's going to be a little bit wider. Um, it's welcome, I suppose, because you want it to feel thick, you know, you want to feel like your lightsaber. Um think something else someone else said like heaviness was like a problem with this but i love that the the threads are small 
and I love that the threads it's close to the, it's close to the the gosh darn it the vent or whatever because um, that can help when you're doing installs from based on what my friend has told me who's done a few for me um, but yeah this is gorgeous this is super clean I dig it you know and also oh wait time on this thing man actually you know I know people dog on Saber Forge and stuff but like I had it this is pretty good uh ordered October no. Yeah, I must have ordered in October. October, like the first week in October, and it's the first week of December. So October, November, December, it's like two-ish months. Two, yeah, it's like two-ish months. It's, that's or three months, like no more than three months. That's pretty good, especially for Saber Forge or for really any Saber company. Obviously, Ultra Sabers does their stuff in two weeks, and I think Pack Store does their, and Saber Tree also has only, pretty much only exclusively done everything for me in like two weeks, so that's pretty good too. Yeah, this is sweet. It's a solid man. It's a big, a big hilt, a big uh, diameter. Let me get rid of that for you. Yeah, man, sweet. I was worried. I forgot. I thought I was worried that it was gonna be like oh, only like three of these things. But I like that it's four. It's like a full. This is. I mean, my hand's not big, but this is like a full hand grippy thing. Oh, that's interesting. They made the CoverTech uh, hexagonal. I'm sorry, that's not hexagonal. It's like one, five. So uh, decagonal. Six, seven, eight, nine, ten, yeah. Or one, two, dang it. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, yeah. Decagonal, I guess. But yeah, so uh, from my understanding, this is a great size to install stuff into. So, and yeah, and I have never had a problem with the hardware on a Saber Forge product. I've heard issues where thin necks will uh, snap and stuff. I've never ordered thin neck. I just don't like them because I just, they look structurally not that integral. I don't know what the deal is with this. I wonder if that's what they did on purpose or they ran out of the circular cover text. I'm okay with it because it looks cool. I didn't ask for it, but maybe they did that because they didn't do what I asked here. Uh, I don't know. Maybe this is something they're doing with their ASPs now. It still looks cool. Like, I'm, I'm not complaining. It's just different. I remember the first time I ordered Saber Forge, I was like, oh, I didn't order specifically a cover tech because in other companies you could order a cover tech. Um, yeah, this looks really clean, man. Anyway, okay, cool. Let me just... Uh... It's a good place to put that here. Now, the emitter section. Da, 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 da. The emitter. This is the Bane emitter. I don't know why I always want to call it a monarch. I think it's because it looks like a bug, kind of. Yeah. Is there anything else? Beautiful. Gorgeous, gorgeous piece of... Oh, no! Saber Forge. You made it loose, or you didn't tighten it, but that's kind of a, maybe, I wonder if they did that on purpose, because I was like, hey, can you make it so that I put another shroud on? So what I might do is I might get a bane, uh, an empty bane or something, someday. Oh no, you chipped it, guys, no. They were doing so well, everything was so clean. So there's your Saber Forge, right? It's pretty good, but not perfect. That's what they always say. So there's a little damage. Of course, it's in the black part. It's like, gosh darn it. But I think I can fix that with aluminum black. Oops. I think I can fix that with aluminum black. It's just like, man, I shouldn't have to, right? I mean, to be fair, this was like a hundred something. So this was like a deal. And this, yeah, glimmer and it's like loose and stuff, but who knows, maybe this was like such a popular hilt they had to like rush to get it done. Which I don't, I don't, uh, what's the word? Blame them, believe? It doesn't surprise me. All right, let me just like throw this together. Like the true Jedi that I am. This is pretty cool though, I dig this. It's also smaller and it's like I can still grab it, which is something I was worried about. I thought maybe it's because like the builder made it look super big and wide. This is like very manageable. I just wish it was tighter. I wonder if I can tighten it with the, um, I wonder if I can tighten it with the uh, retention wrench. Okay, oops. I wonder if that, does this work? Nope. You need like, I don't know, to figure out how to tighten this. Also, the finish is slightly different. It's not that noticeable. It's not nearly as bad as I thought it would be. But uh, I was hoping this would be this finish. It's more shiny and reflective. I think you can just sand this down and get that. But I think my intention was always going to be like to paint with aluminum black to give myself a little more, which I've never done before, but I kind of always wanted to do, to give myself a little more uh, customization freedom, you know? So we'll see. That doesn't work for that. Okay. But this is for, yeah. This is going to be your standard. Yeah. Cool. Awesome. 
Let's do it. Oh, yeah, there's the lip there. That's why they didn't. Yeah. So in the builder, it's pretty close. It doesn't look like there's a lip, but there's totally a lip here at the bottom. And that's, I think, why they didn't. So I may not be able to actually, yeah, I don't think I'm going to be able to use the actual Bane da -da 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 emitter on this. It would be cool maybe if I could find a way. I just wish I could feel these in person. That's a big problem when you order this stuff. It's like you can't actually feel it in person or see it in person necessarily. Unless you go to their shop, which I think you can. No, oh, it's consistent. Let me see if I do it on this side. Another thing to note, fun fact, is that all of their switch sections are male-male. Which is obvious, right, if you've ever touched one of these, but... Wow, okay, that's really consistent on every side. That's why I need the timing shims. Cool, boom. I'm gonna do this and then put them together for a more epic reveal. Okay. Hmm. Yeah, that's why you need the timing shims. I'm glad my friend advised me for that. And together, they make this. I'm actually surprised this isn't as bigger, bigger than it is. Yeah. And there she is, mate. Oh, there, nope. Okay, interesting. I have to, like, there we go. So I'm just making it look good right now. Boom, doo -doo -doo. There's my ASP build. So from the top, it looks pretty good. It looks like there's no lip here in the top part, which is good. Um, yeah, my dream build would have, I don't know, maybe there's a way I could shave down this somehow or find somebody to mill this, this lip to make it less so I could put a shroud over it because that would make my freaking day if I could put like the Bane shroud from like the actual Bane and put it because it has this like cool thing around the switches. That would just be awesome. But yeah, no, ultimately, this is pretty cool. Uh, it's, you know, these are parts that you're ordering online and through a virtual thing, so you can't really, you know, you don't have complete control over everything. Um, yeah, let me see if I can zoom in here. Ooh. Yeah, no, it's pretty cool. This is probably a better... Yeah, no, that's cool. Uh, let me know if the lighting bothers you. I'm something new. I'm trying, just trying to like pump out. When I do get stuff, I'd like to do videos right away instead of like holding it off for like a long time and then like oh finally, or just opening it up in in just raw happiness. No, but this is pretty cool, man. I'm actually things I'm really surprised about. I'm really surprised that this section is actually way smaller and way more manageable than I thought it would be. Thought it would be like massive. Um, that's okay. Also, these are actually bigger than I thought they would be. And part of that is my understanding based on the renders in the, in the builder, Saber Builder, or the ASP Builder, or whatever. Um, but yeah, ultimately, it's pretty cool. Yeah, not a lot of complaints. I think uh, I need to time this stuff and whether... Let me just let me see here. I'm going to go ahead and time it with the timing shims. Okay, so I got it all... Uh, what's the word? Uh, timing shimmed out here. Uh, fun fact, so I came with, I think it came with nine timing shims. A friend of mine, I mean, the last time he probably ordered a timing shim kit was probably years ago. So, um, yeah, so that's, um, they don't all work is what I'm saying. It doesn't perfectly line up your, just so if you're expecting, you're like, oh, well, let me give me the package that does it, the thing that I needed to do. It's like, well, not entirely. And there's your Saber Forge, right? Got a little ding there. You got a, you got a, to time. <laughs> the shipping was quick relative to what they are normally. Um, but you're getting a cool saber. You're getting a cool thing. Um, loose. So my issues, right? Loose uh, shroud. Weird cover tech. That's fine. Uh, timing shim kit that I paid for didn't like line up the thing like I needed it to. Just, oh, just err on the side of more instead of less. Like I only had nine timing shims in my kit. Uh, and I think, and I used all of them. I used them on the one, two, and the three sections. I think I used three on each one. They're fun. They're relatively close, but they're not, they're not like exact. So just something to note. This is off by like, you know, five degrees. I don't know if you can see that. And then this is definitely not totally. This, I needed one more. I think I needed 10 to get that to come there. But ultimately it's a six saber. You know, you can't, I'm glad with my design. I toiled over it for a long time. I was like, which one am I going to do? I got to know. And this is really sweet. I may go back and get like a different switch section. I may do the Gladius section idea just to see what that's kind of like. Um, 
It might make it too long for me, but this is still pretty sweet. This is like a solid, it's a two-hander. You can easily, this is an easy choke point you can grab in the middle. And then if you needed to choke up, this is small enough that you can. I thought it was going to be like, like super big out here. But, uh, but yeah. So obviously I'm not an installer and I don't really know how to do that just yet. I don't really plan on getting that done. But for funsies, I thought I would install it for you really fast. Ready in three, two, one. Look at me. Gonna put sound in my ASP. Ready in three, two, one. <laughs> Little trick. I think it looks kind of cool. Yeah. So there's your, you know, there's your ASP. Uh, Saber Forge ASP, first one I ever did, and I think the second one is like the Commando, and that's coming soon. I just got the Commando as an ASP because it was cheaper than buying the actual Elite Hilt, but of course you run into issues like, can you balance out your, uh, your timing with your timing shims? And based on this experience, probably not. But I also was told sometimes you can do it with only like one. Or not one, uh, like with like two or three. So sometimes you get lucky, I guess. But yeah, with that said, uh, have a good day and we'll, uh, see you guys next time.